but you can see the bees land in the water in the spring and throughout the year. It's kind of too cold today, but they'll land on the leaves or the rocks and go have a drink down there. And in the summer, it'll look like an airport back here. You'll see all the bees flying. They fly up and out. It's good to have the six foot fence because then they'll fly up and out and away from their neighbors. born in Providence, Rhode Island, and never really went much further than that. Vacation in the Keys, but never had any desire to leave the state, and I really can't tell you why, because there's not much here that's uh, going well lately. But I guess that's true across the whole country. I drove for the Teamsters for 38 years. And shortly before I retired, a friend of mine had had bees, and I was always interested in it, but um, never really had the opportunity to get involved with it. So he put a hive in my backyard. What he tells me is it's relaxing to him to go into the hive and focus on the hive, and he'll never know everything about beekeeping. And I think that's what keeps him reading. He changed from serial killer books <laughs> to beekeeping books. Can you throw in some bread and butter too? Alright, and he wants a, the number four. The number four? Okay. Hi, he's doing a documentary on us or his brown cinematography class. Do you care if he films in here? Yes. Is that right? Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Um, I think he's got it right now. Thank you. We were spending time with the bees together, so that was more together time. He thought we should get a hobby together when he retired and he picked bees, and I wasn't sure that that was something I would like, but the more I learned about it, the more I liked it. And the women do all the work in the beehive. The men, the drones, fly around and have sex, and I heard when they do have sex, their parts fall off and they die, and I guess <laughs> if you play, you pay. But if they don't go and mate with a queen, um, they will get kicked out of the beehive in the fall because they're just going to consume the honey that everybody needs. So the queen just makes more boys in the spring. I told one lady that she didn't like it because she just had sons and thought that was really mean. But they call this a dome top. Some people wear it with a baseball cap so the face stays out and you can see the bees better. But that's most of our protective gear. Try and zipper everything because they find ways to get in there with you. And the bees are supposed to be on the outside, <laughs> not the inside. Have you ever had a bee in your suit? Uh, yes, and um, you can try and let them out. I've had them in my hair before. Sometimes I've gotten in there, just in their flyway, you get in their way, and they didn't mean to sting you. But when they sting you, they die, so you feel bad. You know, you got stung, but they died. So. I said, I actually, uh, I really don't like honey very much. I mean, I like it. Uh, I like pretzels, but I don't want to eat them all the time, you know. I don't he also put, thought I don't, he was... I don't put honey on toast or... Um, it's just not my favorite thing. I'd rather have chocolate ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not a, you're not in it for the honey? No, I'm not really big on honey. I love the bees. She loves the honey. And the honey's a sale product. But and when, when we did start, um, she was a little weary of the bees. And um, at some point I thought, I don't think this is going to work out too well. But once we started getting a lot of honey, over the course of time, 
I mean, I would trust her to open a hive now and inspect it. Um, I, you know, I have respect for her knowledge of the bees now, so it, it's, it's a big help, especially when you're going out and you're doing 20 or 24 a day. When, so. you, when you start going out, um, if you go by yourself, there's a lot of things to have, the smoker, and so it's nice to have Vanna White with you, the assistant, to yeah. use the smoker and hand you your, tell you where you left your hive tool and things like that. Um, so it, it can be a helpful relationship. It's a good partnership. Yeah. Yes. We still do a lot of screaming and yelling at each other, but, you know, somehow... Or other like part, every good partnership. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm always doing something wrong. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll remember when he forgets where, where he left something. No, she's the memory. good story. Um, oh, this could be a long story, so let's try to abbreviate it. And so they were looking for some alumni, and I went as a deckhand on a cruise, and it went, I flew to Miami, and we went out to the Tortugas, the dry Tortugas, which is about 75 miles west of Key West. And <clears throat> so I used to take a seaplane out there and stay for four or five days, and Next thing you know, I look out and here comes a, a looks like a pirate ship coming in. 